Well, hello, my lovelies. How's everyone doing today? So, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny, if you have not been here before. If you have, welcome back. I'm glad to have you here. This is my second video today. My first video, which I will link probably up here, because um, that video is going to be loaded first. So I will, I'll link that up here was about the Toddy Blendifuls. It's my first time using them. I did wash them first before I used them because I have heard that they do have some problems with some fuzzies. And so far, I like them. I really do. I was a little bit surprised because I'm a Juno sponge girl. All the way since they came out, use nothing else but that. Occasionally, I use my Juvia's Place um, brush, but I'm a, I'm a total diehard Juno, babe. So, I was really hesitant about trying these, but I like them. I'll, I'll link that video up there so you can see what I liked about it, what I thought about it, because that's that part of the video. I also tried in that video the Bite Foundation, and um, you'll see you'll see what I thought about that. So we'll see how that goes. And I tried the powder. There's a little debunkle on that, but I'm not gonna tell you. You have to watch that to find out. And I also tried the NARS concealer to find out about that too, won't you? Anyway, so today's video this part of the video i have three to film today the first one was the one about the blend of full and the back belt bite foundation the second one is a palette that i got in today that i've never even tried any of their found any of their products at all it's still in the the cellophane i haven't even taken it out yet and yeah i got something today Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. am i this am, am i am i jeffree star approved don't know don't care as long as I'm approved myself, right? That's right. So, I've never had a Jeffree Star mirror. I wanted to get one in one of the boxes, and I didn't get the big box, which it came in. So, I went and got my own. And since pink is for my breast cancer, and black is one of my favorite colors, even though it's not really a color, it's a hue, whatever they call it, a pigment, whatever, whatever that word is I'm looking for, I got this one. So, I like it. It's big. doesn't have a magnifying, but I do like the fact that not only does it say Jeffree Star, it's a little bit bigger than his star mirrors, I think. At least it looks like from what I've seen in the pictures. I've never owned one before. But I do like that I can actually hold it like at different lighting angles without having to pick my big Juno mirror up. So I'm very excited to get that. So besides this Glam Light, it's called the Cake Glam Light Palette. Woo! Yay! I don't have all the sound effects that everybody else has on their videos. So we're going to like dive into this. I also got a new mascara, you know, because I'm always on the hunt for mascaras. Um, Stephanie, what's her last name? Oh my God, forgive me, Stephanie. Um, she actually does the videos for this, but it's called Beyond Measure. It's by City Lights, and I haven't tried it yet. It's still sealed. So we're going to open that up and give that a look at. also got two other products by Jeffree Star that came today. I got his Androgyny palette, which I'm not going to use today, but I want to show it to you guys. I had not had this one. I've got everything that he has now, except I don't have um, the 24 karat. I do have the Platinum Ice. I got that highlighter palette in the day. 24 karat one is just too dark, and I don't like the Northern Lights one from what I've seen. I just don't. So I'm not going to get that. And um, the Conspiracy palette, I really, really want it. So hopefully I can get that when it comes back out. I like that. Look at that. It's like the leather look. But he's, it's vegan, so you know it's not. And look at that. Look on the inside. I like the little mirror that even though I don't use the mirrors but these are the colors and if you saw in the last video you saw that I had the actual picture of it but this is the actual the palette itself that's really pretty it's different all right I just want to show that to you I'm not going to use it I'm not going to swatch it any of that good stuff because I'm not going to be using it today I just wanted to show it to you just since I got it in and then I will be using this highlighter palette today and the reason I got it is because I have a fascination with highlighters. I love highlighters. And they say that when you get older, highlighting is not that great to do because it does accentuate, you know, wrinkles and things like that. I don't care. I love highlighters. I like highlighters. So it does come with the plastic over top of it to kind of protect your mirror. The mirror is sealed with a little cellophane wrap, which I always leave on there. I never take it off because I don't use the mirror. This is what it looks like. I like the holographic look. And then these are the colors. And I got it because I like some of the colors for the eyes. Because you can actually use them on the eyes as well. So there is that in all of its glory. Very, very pretty. I like it. I like it a real lot. Alrighty, guys. So let's open this. 
the City Lights mascara up. Just make sure there's no paperwork in there. There is not. And they did send a coupon code with it. It says, um, actually, I'm not even going to put my glasses on and mess up my face any. I got a little magnifying thing here. Um, it has an ad for some cream, and then there's a 15% off coupon. And actually, it says your next order plus free shipping if you spend $50 or more. The coupon code is G24. WX7 but it says it expires two weeks after receipt and I just got this in so I don't know whether or not you guys will be able to use this coupon since it came with with my package but there it is city lights you can give that a try and this is the mascara oh it's got a little seal I like that that fact that it's sealed it's got a little seal on it blue seal and that's what the brush looks like it looks like it's going to be okay but we'll see when i actually get it um applied how it will how it works all right all right let's break into this let me get my little makeup wipe ready i think i got one left in this i do all right and we're going to take a peek inside this palette all right and i have seen some reviews on this palette and they they were good that's why i decided to get it um and i saw Allie dawson because you know you probably get tired of hearing me say her name in all my videos but she and paige corin i follow them religiously and they both did reviews as well as um my friend um jessica and it's just jessica she did a review but look at this this is really cute remember the easy bake ovens it's so cute look at this it like opens up like an oven that's adorable look at that Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then it just slides out, I guess. Oh my gosh, look at that. Remember the the books, like when you were kids and you had like little cardboard books? That's what it reminds you of. Like the little cardboard books. And it opens up like a book. Oh my god, that is so adorable. I love that. It's got a little mirror. And a little plastic cover, which I'm dropping all over the place. Ah! <laughs> I want to be goofy today. And it does fold back look look at those pretty colors oh it smells oh now i know what they're talking about oh yeah okay they say it smells like chemicals it really does oh and it's not like not like paint it just smells like chemicals oh yeah i don't know whether it's because it was in that package and if it'll like go out once you use it and i don't know whether it, like it'll irritate the eyes or not but yeah it has a chemical smell guys if you don't like smells if you're very sensitive to smells you're not gonna like it and the colors are really pretty i like the the glittery one. Oh my goodness my dog sees something outside the window oh my hey 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 I'll be right back. I gotta check this out. Alrighty, sorry about that. I had my window uh, blind open in my bedroom and my dog was on the bed and she saw the neighbors walking their dogs and she freaked out. Anyway, so let's get on with this. Alright, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Usually I look at my palettes first to decide what I want to do and I didn't even do that. And I mean, it shows you the colors on the back and I have seen people do it and everything else. I didn't even look at it when it came in. Didn't even look at it because I didn't want to see. So, let me just tell you, the third video that I'm doing today is going to be about a giveaway. And if you've heard my other videos or watched them, then you would know that I planned on doing a giveaway when I got to 100 subscribers and 1,000 subscribers. And I will be. But I have a surprise giveaway that I'm doing before that. So you have to watch the next one to find out. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to spoil it. You have to watch the next video because I'm pretty excited about it. And I want you guys to be excited too. So, all right. I'm going to swatch a couple of these first before... Um, I get into it. I'm going to do the top row. So I'm going to swatch this top row for you. And then we're going to go from there. And then we're going to see how it all swatches on my hand. Okay, the matte doesn't, the matte color I put on first did not swatch very well. And I didn't leave much room. That's that top row. If you can, if it comes in good. That's that top row. The yellow swatch really nice, but then the, the second one, which is the, the matte color, didn't swatch very well. And the second one, I'm going to swatch on the back of my hand. That's the second row, which will be these colors right here. Ooh, I like that first color. 
yeah, but the, the mats aren't swatching very well. But, you know, that's totally different on the hand usually than what they actually end up being on your eye. It's completely different. And it's hard because I did it on my knuckles, but um, that's what those colors swatched out to be. And I see my battery light flashing, so I'm going to have to change my battery. Hopefully it'll give me, I don't know if it's going to get me till I get to this back to the end of the swatch or not. All right, I'm going to do the third row. Go back to the inside of my hands since it's dry. I'm doing it really quick before my hands, I mean before my camera battery runs dead. Since I filmed the other video, that's why. That's what that looks like. And then go in the back of my hand for this last row. Oh, wow. That, oh, wow. Okay, I have to show you what that just did. That was bad. Okay, so for this, for this um, last row, see that color right there? I barely touched it. Barely touched it. I mean, it's a beautiful color, but you saw what it just did. I mean, I literally barely touched that, and it just chunked, just chunked right off. Wow. That's bad. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. That's cinnamon. The color was cinnamon. Because it all has, like, different names of, like, cake ingredients and things like that, I guess. Oh my gosh. That was bad. That was really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to change my battery real quick before I get going, and then I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. The magic of technology. I can be back for, I could be gone for an hour and you wouldn't know it. Of course, it was only two minutes, but anyway. Okay, um, I am really surprised how that, like, just chunked right out of there like that. That's that's gross yeah i'm not sure i'm not i wanted i wanted to use that even this one if you look at this one that one kind of did it but just not as bad but that i mean that really chunked i'm not liking that at all i'm not happy with that at all i mean it happens and you guys i don't know if you saw my last video i got more bling brushes they had a restock and i got more so i am so excited do you know how much i love my bling brushes so i'm going to be using them like i always do in my videos all right, I'm going to grab the first one. You know what? I think I'm going to try that yellow, um, the pineapple, which is this one right here. It's got a little bit of a hint of um, glitter to it. I tap my brush off, and I'm going to do one eye. Actually, I need to make sure that my... Um, eyeshadow base is down. I got the P. Louise. I did get the eyeshadow base. I got like a set from Sigma the other day and it's a eyeshadow and a mascara or not eyeshadow, an eyeshadow, an eye primer, a mascara and a um, eyeliner, but I haven't used it yet. I did use the mascara, but it was okay. That's the last day I put makeup on though. I haven't worn makeup since then. I'm just going to put this right above my crease. Now putting it all over because I'm going to brighten my whole eyes up because, you know, I've had a very dreary, very off, bad mood, not bad mood, just, you know, very eh mood all week. So I'm going to kind of brighten myself up a little bit. So I'm going to put some sunshine on my face. Might not be outside, but I'm going to put it on my face. I'm going to bring you in a little bit. Because you're kind of far away from me. You're far away from me. I don't want you to be far away. You probably are. Because, you know, I'm in West Virginia. So, I don't know where you guys are. But, some of you I know are not too far away. Jeffree Star. Jeffree. Jeffree. Have you guys seen what he's got coming out in, on January 21st? Oh, my gosh. The Bloodlust palette. Oh, my. I really hope I can get that. If you guys go over to my Instagram page, which, you know, that's something you just might have to do, you know, for the giveaway. You, just, you might have to. And check out Trend Mood 1. And she will show you all the releases of different products coming up, different brands, like skincare brands, makeup brands. And she shows you, um, like, sneak peeks on things as they, before they come out and gives you dates, sometimes prices, so you can kind of get an idea what's coming out. And I see I've got, like, a... An eyebrow issue here. Voila. Okay. So I got that laid down. Now I want to kind of blend it up toward my eyebrows a little bit. It does blend very nicely. 
And I did put my brows up a little higher today so I could have more room to, to make the colors go up a little higher. Yellow is one of those colors, you know, you either like it or you don't. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I usually put like a little bit of one, but I just kind of felt like just kind of doing the whole yellow thing. I don't know. Sometimes I think with my purple hair, it, it limits me on what I can put on. So I don't, I, I really don't know. I don't know if it does or not. I mean, it might, it might not. I just realized I didn't contour my nose. I contoured everything but my nose. Uh, I don't know how I forgot that. I got so excited about my blend of full because I used it for something else in my face. I'm not going to tell you. But I got so excited that I forgot about doing it. So I need to go back and do it on my face and my nose. Because I can't really do my eyes until I do that. Because I have to bring it from my eyes down my nose. <laughs> my dogs are like, yeah, whatever, Mom. Just get the damn thing done. Daggone dogs got in a fight again today. And usually people will say, oh, well, that's why you should have a pit bull. Nope. Pit bull doesn't get in a fight. It's my daggone pug. Pug and my Sheba all the time. All the time. They're constantly fighting. It's ridiculous. My Sheba is in one of those moods today where she doesn't want to be bothered. And she was coming up the steps and she, for some reason, just like walks up the steps and she's growling. And as soon as she growled, my pug starts in on her and won't leave her alone. So the Sheba turns around and just nails her and starts chewing on her. So I've got their little collars on them that I can push a button and it beeps or vibrates. So I'm pushing the crap out of it and it's not doing a damn thing. And I realize their batteries are dead. So I got a water bottle and I'm squirting them with the water bottle to get them apart. It's like, oh my gosh. But luckily, no major damage was done. I mean, the Sheba's got some very pointy, sharp teeth. I mean, she, like, touched me the other day. You probably can't see it, but I got a bruise here. Just where her, where her face, like, I touched her bowl of food, and she tried to get me. And Mike wants to find another home for her before Sophie gets really damaged. Sophie has a hole in her ear where she bit through her ear. She um, bit her in the eye twice now. Each different eye. And it's not that she's a mean dog. She's not mean at all. She just doesn't want to be messed with. And Sophie you know, thinks she's a bigger dog than what she is. And she just goes crazy on her. You know, Sophie just, she wants to protect me. And she doesn't like it when Cassie acts stupid and she acts stupid and they start fighting. Ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Anyway, that's like not that great of a nose contour, but I want to get the eyes done. So I had to get that done ahead of time. It's not that great, like I said, but it, it's okay. It is what it is. I don't care. Right now, I just want to get this done. Okay. What other color do I want to do? All right. You know what? I'm going to go a little darker. Usually, I go light on the inside corner, but I want to try that one color. Not that gold. I want to try the guava. I can't believe I'm actually seeing this with my glasses on. I like that they're written a little darker. I mean, a little bigger. That's what it looks like on my finger. Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. I'm going to put that right here and see what happens. Lays down really nice. Really smooth. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to actually bring it farther over. I'm going to bring it all the way across my lid. I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to bring it all the way across. Living on the edge today. Living on the edge. You know the Aerosmith song? Doing it. I'm doing it, guys. Living on that edge. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. I gotta look forward because of my hood. I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. I don't know how it would lay down with a brush, but I'm gonna try for you. I'm gonna try because some people have long nails and they can't use their fingers. So I'm gonna go with a flat brush from Bling Brushes, and this is number E4. Let's see how it lays down with the brush. I'm just going to drag it really lightly across there. Okay, not bad. I'm not getting any fallout on the face because I do tap on my pan. And I tap on the um, my trash can I have here too. If you hear a ting ting, it's my, me tapping on my trash can. Okay, it's not bad. It's really pretty. 
I did not wet the brush. This is just exactly what it looks like. Okay, I do have a tiny bit of fallout in the corners where I just drug it across. Just gotta tap it. Don't drag. Anything with, with um, glitter, metallics, shimmers, it's best to tap them instead of dragging them. Because you can blend just as much tapping. Especially if you use your finger. But you know. Some people, like I said, they just can't. If their nails are too long, they're hard, it's harder to get the, the finger to work. I like that. That's really pretty. And it's so different than what I usually do. Living on the edge, dudes. Sorry. Didn't mean to put the mirror in front of the camera there. almost want to do like a sunset. I almost want to do an orange with this. I just don't know what it would look like, but I kind of almost, almost want to do an orange. What do you guys think? You think an orange will look okay with this? See, I never know. I never know what anything is going to look like till I do it. So I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I'll have to do this one, but I don't know what another like shiny color would do. So I'm going to actually use this, the one it's called, it's called, it's called peach. And I might put some peach in the corner. Let's see what a peach would look like in the corner. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, there is a little bit of kick up, but not, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm like really surprised there's no kick up. I need to use my right, my right hand. Not, I'm not left handed, so. Kind of blend that in. It blends, the colors blend really nice. They really do. And there is a code for this too. Um, I got a little card with this and I'll show you that. This really looks nice, guys. I like it on my end. I don't know what you guys are seeing up there, but I like the way the colors are blending. Um, It's you know, like a sunset. I, mean, I, I need I need brightness. I need brightness in my life. I wanted to do some other color. I was gonna like throw some purples in there and like you know, but I don't want to do all that. I just want kind of not really a simple look because you know I never do those. But I just want to kind of play it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a blending brush. And then I'm going to blend it in a little bit up here. Blend it out. Colors blend very well together. Without blending, you know, they don't blend away. That's what I'm trying to say. They blend really nice. You know, I always want to start with a little bit. That way you can add and then blend. Because you don't want to add too much. I like that. I really do. I really do. I like that a lot. And then of course I'll pull it all together when I go underneath. And I'm going to be using other colors too underneath. So not just the one. I'll use the the yellows and the... I'm sorry about that. I have my phone sitting right here. I turn it down, but I forgot that it actually vibrates on the my makeup thing here. It's funny that my 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 bedroom is becoming my makeup palace because I have I got some new. I mean, you probably can't see them. You might be able to see them, like right, right there. I got some new things to hold my my lipsticks in and my lip glosses because I have so many of them. But those are full, and then I've got the one in my closet. So I have three now on the counter, and I've got one in my closet and one with my legs. I have this fascination with liquid lips that it's just unreal. And do I wear them all? 90% of them I do. I mean, I really do. I mix colors all the time. It's just crazy. And you know what I want to do is that I said I wanted to wear some purple. So I'm going to take this lilac color right here. I think it's called lilac. No, it's the oob. Oube, oube. I don't know why I said lilac. That color right there. I'm going to take that on the same brush. 
and we'll tuck it like right here in the front because I can. We're just going to do a little bit of a rainbow. This is almost like the Jeffree Star look I did the other day. It is. It's a lot like it. I just realized that. It is a lot like it. And then I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to kind of smoke it out a little bit. This kind of helps too with covering some of my under eye wrinkles and color. Some of the glitter came down. <laughs> I think it was on this brush. That's okay. And I'm going to go back with the purple again. All right, so for my brow bone, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star. And I'm going to be using, okay, the ice cold I actually have. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I have that. Does it have that? I don't know. I don't know if he has that in a separate kit or not. I'm going to actually look. This is a glacier. This is the ice cold. You can see them. It takes a minute for my light to be come to come out to blend in. anyway that's those two colors and then the canary bling oh that's pretty that's that's really pretty oh the pink chill's pretty let's see what this one looks like you know i've got that stuff oh my gosh i just look down i have a towel that i keep in my lap and i've got pieces of that color that chunked off it's all over me i have black ones so and now I have glitter. And then I have this shirt that's got these. Yeah, it just kind of blends in, so it's all good. But it's on my Jeffree Star mirror. Oh, my God. I just, like, look down and it all went all over the place. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. I don't know if that's... If you guys have that palette, if you could tell me if it, it's supposed to do that. I mean, it's, like, all over the floor and everything. It just chunked everywhere. I don't know if I saw that in, like, anybody's video or not. I don't remember. I don't remember if I saw that or not. Actually, I'm going to go with Pink Chill. I haven't, I haven't even swatched this one yet. I just want to see what it does. And that's this color right here. I think I'm getting, I'm getting like a, a glare off of the actual palette. So let me see if I can get that to come in for you guys. There we go. This color right here. I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like a lavender shift to it. That's not what I expected that to be. I guess I should have uh, put that on my finger first, but that's good though because you know it pulls that, it pulls that um, the lavender that I have underneath my eye, that ube or whatever it's called, it pulls that up some, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Oh, this little Morphe brush that I use for that because it tucks it right in up there, and then I'm going to use a really tiny little brush to do my inner corner, another bling brush. And I'm going to tuck that right here on the inner corner. Just to kind of pop that a little bit. Alrighty. Alrighty. And then I have a new blush that from that I, I showed it in my other videos that I have. It's ColourPop. I want to see what that looks like with this. It's actually one of these the uh, princess lines, the, D the Disney designer lines, it's uh, floating lights. And I want to see what that looks like. I'm using a bling brush for that. If this is the F, let me see if I can see it without my little thingamajiggy. These are my new brushes. I don't know the numbers on at all. F, what are you? F16, I think. Yeah, F16. A lot of kick up. If you can see that or not, there's a lot of kick up. I hope I can like make this over here. I hope I can remember what I did to put it over there. That's the only thing about only doing one on camera is I never remember what I did when I do the other one off camera. This is very pink. So it blends, it goes right in with what I'm doing, I think. But you know what probably would look better would be that Milani one that I have that has that has all the colors that I showed in another video that has like, you know, different colors you can swirl together. That way I could have pulled in some of the the oranges and stuff so I'm probably gonna grab that and put that on but I'm gonna do the rest of my off camera do the other eye and I'll be right back okay you guys so this is the finished look 
For the lips, I went in with the Jeffree Star birthday suit, followed by the gloss that I got in the mystery box, the premium mystery box. And then right here in the center, I went in with the highlighter. Actually, first I put in with this color right here, and I didn't like it, so just kind of buffed it back off. But then I went in with the same color that I used in the inner corner, which I actually went back in with the inner corner, and I added a little bit of setting spray and made it a little bit brighter. But I put a tiny bit of that color right in the center to kind of make the lips pop in the center a little bit, and then I went over it with some more gloss. So that's kind of a way to, to make your lips look a little more plump without making them plumper. You know, without using it like a lip plumper kind of thing. And anyway, for my blush, I did use the ColourPop, but then I did get my Milani out. And this is the um, the one that's the Color Harmony and the pink the pink party I think it's called the pink play the pink play. So that has like it has a mixture of colors. So I went over it, and you're able to swirl like where you want it to. So I went over it with that because I like that better. I forgot that I had that when I was putting that one. So I went over that, and then I used um, this palette, and I kind of mixed all the colors. For my cheeks i just kind of swirled them all around and mixed them in i like the way it looked i think it's pretty so i did that and then um for my under eyes and for the actual lining part i did not use any eyeliner i actually went in with the cake palette and then went in with the color at the bottom which is the chocolate and then with this color right here it looks a little purple like but it's actually a chocolate color but i went in with this color for my lining on my upper and lower and then I showed you what I was doing with the, the actual colors underneath my lid. But that's what I did. And then as far as the mascara goes, I actually really liked it. Um, I had to do quite a few coats. And of course, as always, my right eye, for some reason, just will not grow lashes. And I don't know what the deal is over here. My left eye looks like it's doing a lot better. If you've been following me for a while, you have seen my, my problems with how chemo destroyed my lashes and just never quite... I've never quite recovered my lashes and I probably never will. I've talked to people that has been, you know, five to 10 years, even 20 years, you know, out of chemo and they never really got their lashes back. And I think I'm going to be one of them people because, um, like I'm looking in and it's like this right eye, it's getting thicker. Like the lashes are getting thicker, but they're not growing longer. They're like gobbing, like almost like at the base. So that's a good thing. I mean, they are starting to get thicker. They're just not growing long. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do about that. I did get the shipment confirmation on that serum that I ordered, so I don't know how that's going to work. You know, it's one of those Instagram buys, so it was, eh, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, guys. I did use my ColourPop white liner um, for the inner rim. That does help make your eyes look look brighter, especially if you have hooded eyes. It kind of brightens your eyes up some. That's a little trick that I learned like years ago, and I just started applying that again. As far as the glam light as you use it the smell does dissipate i think it's just from being closed up in that plastic so the smell does kind of go away it's still there it's just not as strong as when i first opened the palette i really really like it i barely had any fallout at all on my face the kick up in the pan was only a couple like little colors but as you can tell i did not blow the pan off at all and there's like nothing in there this color down here on the other hand and this color up here this color wasn't as bad but this one down here I was like when I put my after I went off and got my lip color and came back out on the floor and it was everywhere it was all over my shirt it was on the floor it was everywhere I keep a little rug underneath my stool thank God because it was everywhere so I did not like that part at all but at least now I know that when I do use that color I gotta be very light-handed and it's probably one that you do not want to use a brush in that's something you're probably gonna have to use a finger or maybe use one of these silicone brushes these little silicone brushes that I got from Sigma I'm sure other brands probably have them, but these little brushes, brushes might work. They're not really a brush. It's actually a silicone head. You can tell that or not, but it's actually got, um, it's for like glitters and things like that, but that might also work. It's not really coming in very clear, um, but that actually might work. There we go. It might work for something like that, but just got to be kind of be careful. If you get that palette, you got to be careful with that particular one. But yeah, I mean, I'm very, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I've never tried their, their brand before. So I'm very happy with that palette. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much again for joining me here today. If you want to watch from my next video to watch about that giveaway, little clues I'm kind of been throwing in along the way, you'll need to know that for that video. Um, like I talked about, you know, some hints along the way, like maybe something I might've gotten my Jeffree Star box, my mystery box that if you've watched that video, then you saw a couple things in there that I did not want that's going to be in a giveaway. Um, 
That's a little clue for you. And then I actually got a mystery box. Or not a mystery box. Well, it kind of is a mystery box. It's called the Trend Mood Box. Another clue for you. So I did tell you that I was going to give you a little code that actually came in when I got my, my Glam Light box. And that code is GLAM15. Let me show that to you. That is to save on Glam Light purchases. So you should be able to use that. So if you want to head on over to Glam Light and check them out, I'll link them below. Anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me. If you like my videos, if you could please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because you'll need to subscribe in order to win the giveaway. And you also need to follow me over on Instagram, which is Jenny underscore Survivor. So the next video, I will be talking about the giveaway and I'll show you some of the things that will be in there. So you guys take care. Go and be good to other people and have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hey you guys, a little end note to this video. I just read this Glam Light um, card that came with the, the um, palette. I, I don't know why I didn't read it before, but it really has a really good message, so I have to share it with you guys. It says, Glam Light Cake Shop, about us. Glam Light Cosmetics founder, Gazelle Hernandez, creates food-themed makeup as a way to promote self-love and acceptance. The cake palette packaging is based on a real cake created by Nick Macriades, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, um, from the Scran line, Instagram.com forward slash the Scran line, a social media brand that uses art of baking to spread body positivity. Nick used to be heavily bullied for being overweight and a different, different as a young adult. Now he uses his passion for baking cute desserts to send positive message, which aligns perfectly with the message of our brand. And then she puts down here her own little message that says, it says, through food-inspired makeup, I'm creating this judgment-free zone in the industry to let others know it's okay to love yourself as you are. Makeup doesn't have to be serious, a one-size-fits-all. Go ahead and have some fun and do what makes you happy. So that's the back of the card. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, thank you and have a good one.